Welcome back to the channel for a video that's not a normal watch review, but rather is going to talk about demagnetizing a watch using a particular app called Lepsi. Now this app can detect whether or not your watch has uh, some innate magnetism, and later on I will show you how to degauss the watch. Now if you look at the workings of a watch, this is a Seiko 6R15 movement, good old trusty movement in the Sarks 045. You can see just how fine the mechanism is inside a mechanical watch. Here it is slowed down uh, six times slower than normal speed. And you can imagine that any of these components being magnetized is going to affect the sort of the delicate uh, balance that keeps uh, such accurate time. And it's very easy for a mechanical watch to get magnetized from environmental sources such as being near electronic equipment or speakers, etc. Now, this uh, Lepsi app uses the phone's compass to detect magnetism. This sensor is surprisingly sensitive because it has to detect the faint magnetic field of the Earth for the compass to work. Now, using a degausser or a demagnetizer, you put the watch over the device and then hold the uh, power on and then you pull the watch directly up and slowly away. You'll feel a bit of resistance at first, which fades off as you get the watch higher. And now seeing the uh, testing with the Lepsi app, you can see that there's no longer any magnetism on the watch. This will give the watch its best chance at keeping accurate time. This is the demagnetizer I used, I uh, just found it on eBay. Now to configure the Lepsi app, you need to uh, some sort of fridge magnet, and as you move it around you can see the magnitude uh, showing up there, and you'll find the sort of the sweet spot where it is the sensor is most uh, effective, and you just choose that on the screen as your location. And that's the part of the phone you put over the watch to see if it's magnetized. All right, guys, I hope this information was useful to you. Let me know in the comments uh, if you like this video and if there's anything else you'd like me to cover in future. Bye.